Hi, this is Dr. Doug Lucas, the Chief Science Officer of PhD Weight Loss and Nutrition. I just finished a talk for our clients on the topic of sleep, and I wanted to do a short summary for our blog, newsletter, and social media followers, because the topic is so important. So did you know that we're in a sleep epidemic? Americans now sleep approximately 6.8 hours per night on average. Compare that to over nine hours a night in 1910. Over 40% of adults report sleeping less than six hours on average every night. That is a tremendous change from where we were and where we've been for the last several thousand years. When you short sleep, there is really good evidence to say that your immune system is significantly altered, your stress hormones go up, your hunger, leptin, ghrelin hormone axis gets altered, your ability to process glucose or carbohydrates is altered, and your insulin levels go up. Um, it will essentially make weight loss efforts very, very difficult and make weight maintenance efforts even more difficult. There are some habits though that we can run through very quickly that can optimize your ability to get good sleep without having to resort to supplements and certainly not medications. So the most important habit to get good sleep is to really get in the routine of going to bed and getting up at the same time every day, no matter if it's the weekend or not. Your goal should be to get between eight and nine hours of sleep and to be able to wake up on time without an alarm. That's a pretty stout goal. If you're gonna consume alcohol, consume it earlier in the evening and consume the right amount so that you don't affect the quality of your sleep. There are several different sleep trackers on the market which can help you get a feel for that. Caffeine can be consumed earlier in the day, but particularly if you are a slow metabolizer, you might find that you do not tolerate afternoon caffeine and certainly not evening caffeine. Exercise is a wonderful fitness tool, but shift your exercise more towards the early afternoon or morning to help get away from keeping your body revved up at night before you go to bed. You wanna to try to get your core body temperature down and exercise will work against that. Another way to get your core body temperature down would be to take a shower, hot shower, right before you go to bed. And there are other devices like cooling blankets that can help get your body temperature down as well. Chili pad or the Uller by the same company are great devices for that. Limiting your blue light exposure in the evening, but actually getting blue light exposure in the morning can help your brain to understand when it's light and when it's dark and when it's time to get to bed. And one of the biggest things we talk to our clients about is that evening routine. Actually getting in the routine of turning off your computer, stop working, allow your brain some time to wind down. It's hard to just flip the switch and go right to sleep. So not only should you limit the blue light through some of these devices, but we need to actually turn these devices off. Journaling is a fantastic way to wind the mind down, meditation, prayer, whatever is in your life that can help you to reflect on your day and get ready to turn the mind off to sleep. Um, other options to consider would be getting your phone away from the bed, uh, turning your phone off if at all possible, at least getting it away to reduce your EMF signal. There is evidence to support the idea of grounding, using grounding blankets or pillowcases to help neutralize your body while you're asleep. Um, and then really creating a sleep environment in your bedroom that's optimal. That means no blue lights. That means don't work in your bedroom for uh, as a habit. You should really reserve that space for a sleeping environment. Um, no TV in your bedroom, no office furniture in your bedroom. Try to keep the, the noise levels down. And if you have noises that you can't keep down, try a noise machine. Keeping the temperature cool around 65 to 68 degrees will help you get good deep sleep. Ultimately, sleep is one of those things that's so easy to ignore, but it is so important. And if you focus on it for a few days and find that you're getting really good sleep, I bet you'll find that you feel a tremendous amount better. So I hope you find that helpful. And that's all I have for you today. This is Dr. Doug Lucas, Chief Science Officer of PhD, Weight Loss and Nutrition. It's Performance, Health, and Diet.